Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going hiking again. It's another beautiful weekend. It is super, super cold out. It's like 12 degrees here and I'm sure it's going to get colder as we go north. But that's how it is in the winter in New Hampshire. So we are going to be hiking Mount Garfield because that's one of the ones that my family did. Actually, I think that's the only one that my family did and I didn't do leftover from when I was little and hadn't even started hiking yet. So just wanted to cross that one off my list, so I'll be up to date with my family. Yeah, I got a new backpack, which I'm super excited about. Um, it's an Osprey Sina, I think it's called. It's 85 liters, so it's way too big for a day pack, but I took off the brain and it has a little flap to use over the top of the pack. I will let you guys know what I think of it and just show you my experience, and then I might show you like some features of it, um, maybe tomorrow after we're back. So yeah, let's get on the road. It is really cold outside. Um, my parents think it's about like five degrees or something, but we just hit like a wall of everything is covered in fresh snow. And also I'm losing my voice and we're gonna be passing people in a second, so I gotta go. Okay, they passed, but I just wanna appreciate the blue sky and the snow and I don't know why. I'm like losing my voice for some reason. Maybe it's cause I'm like breathing hard in the cold. I have no idea, but look how beautiful this is. The snow up here against the sky is insane look at it and I think we're almost there because we've been seeing some people that we passed or like passed us right when we were starting so should be almost there but like look at these trees and I'm pretty sure it's really fresh because it's all still like really stuck on them so should be getting pretty close I'm guessing probably within a mile if that there's a little bit of a view too so yeah see you guys in a bit I'm just gonna do a quick 360 for you guys before I get home. We made it back to our packs. We dropped them probably like a tenth of a mile from the top. And we're gonna get a snack now and then head down. But on the way up, we actually saw some gray jays and fed them, which is always super fun. Kind of made my day, so. And the view up here is incredible, although it is very, very cold. So I'm gonna get some food and then head down. It's 
So I'm back from my hike and I just want to show you guys my favorite features of the new pack. So it is a Osprey Xena 85 and this thing is massive. Like I haven't um, fully packed it up yet. I haven't tried that but seriously you could definitely go for a long period of time. I think the max weight that you can fit in it is 70 pounds which there's no way I would be carrying 70 pounds ever. But um, it really fits me super nicely and I've heard that um, after you wear it a few times it does kind of form to your waist so I'm glad with that. I got the waistband in the size extra small because I've had a lot of issues. I try out packs and then the waistband actually doesn't crank down tight enough for my waist um, which actually makes it pretty painful like cutting into my hips when it sinks down. So thankfully this one fits me. I'm super glad about that. And it's like this gorgeous color too. Um, I'm going to play this game where I say how many different shades of purple can Rosie wear while hiking. And it's got to be like 10 seriously. Like I swear my hat has two different shades and there's my pack. My, my neck warmer and my face mask are different colors. And I think I have gloves too. It's it's gonna be quite a lot. Someday I'll do that if I show you guys like what I actually put in my backpack. So I'm gonna show you my favorite features. This pack has so many cool like innovative things. The only thing, my only complaint is that um, there is no rain fly um, built in but of course you can just buy one at like Walmart or something. So I'm gonna start out by showing you these pockets. So there's this like stretchy pocket in the front which is really nice. But I actually like these side pockets here. They're like two zipper pockets and it's just super helpful. I put my emergency gloves in there. So when you're winter hiking, you usually have like a pair of gloves that you keep on the outside of your pack just in case you get really cold. These are like your warmest gloves. So just in case if your hand got wet or something and you were afraid that you're gonna get hypothermia, then you would just get out those gloves. So. That is where I keep those gloves. And also I think I had my phone in there. Typically you would be advised to keep your phone like on you to keep the battery warm. But I didn't do that this time because it was a 12 mile hike. So usually on a day hike, I don't worry as much. Um, I think my mom had her phone on her, so that was fine. So the next favorite feature of this pack, I would have to say is the detachable brain because this takes off a whole lot of size on the pack if you want to make it a day pack because definitely this is a backpacking pack if I've ever seen one. So with these little clips on the back, they just clip right like that and it sits on the top and fits on like a normal pack frame. But you take it off like I did for this hike and then you can unzip this piece here and fold it out and it's actually got little straps that you can turn it into a day pack. So this thing here turns into a day pack, which I think is insanely cool. And it's just by two buckles. Um, in the past I've had packs that are like, you have to undo this little tightener thing and redo it when you're done and it's just, it just gets crazy. But I think this is the perfect innovation. It's got a pocket here and it just opens up. So this will be great for backpacking. Um, when you drop your pack at your tent site and you go up the mountain or something. So I'm very excited to try that out. Probably in warmer weather though, I'm not really ready to go winter camping again. Also, I really like that these tightening straps that hold the brain down are actually a different color so that you don't get them lost because there are a lot of straps hanging off of here that help you um, cinch stuff down. There are nice and big water bottle pockets which I'm this is why this is why it was so heavy because there is still a water bottle in it oops <laughs> okay also down at the bottom here there's a zipper pouch that opens up and if I undo these which you could like put your sleeping pad on and unzip this In here there's this removable shelf that can separate your stuff so that you can put your sleeping bag down here. It'll fit most sleeping bags I'd say if they're in like a stuff sack. And this hike I put my um, hill sounds in there so they're like 
intermediate crampons. They're not quite the giant ones, but they're also not micro spikes. So I wore my micro spikes and then put those in here just in case it got um, like icy or something. I didn't actually have to use them. So it's perfect to have them in here so that I don't have to dig them out. Because typically you want to put your heaviest stuff down at the bottom. Also another really nice feature is right next to the water bottle pouches, there is a zipper that you can unzip actually all the way down the side and reach your stuff on the inside so that if there was something, if you wanted to get your hat out or something, then you can just reach down in there and that's super cool. Also, um, when you take off the brain, there is this little flap that you can buckle down just as the top of your pack to keep the inside dry. So I think they really thought of everything with this pack. Um, there are some zipper pouches on either side of the waistband. Also, the back is adjustable and it's really cool on your back. I found a lot of packs like sit on your lower back, but this one, it just sits on the waistband and a little bit on the shoulders, depending on how you like to wear your pack. And it just, it's really cool on your back, which is really, really nice. I think that'll be great for summer especially. So. This is going to be my pack for basically everything I think now. Um, maybe on like a shorter day hike in the summer I would wear my old pack, but I've been trying out so many packs, um, like trying out my family's packs because I didn't want to just commit and buy one and I wouldn't know if it would fit. But my dad bought me this one and I'm so grateful because it's super comfortable and I think it's going to last for several years. So I hope this was informational for you guys about the pack and also I hope you enjoyed watching my hike. It was a super fun hike. It ended up being 12 miles and like about 3200 vertical and we got to feed gray jays and it was super super gorgeous at the top so I really enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you guys have also seen my other hiking vlogs. If you haven't make sure to check those out because there are a lot of them. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I'll see you guys later. Bye.